Oh, you too. Thank you for trading for me. So let me help you. Have a great day today. May we are December the first, man. So happy new year, man. We have our hours away of a new year, twenty twenty four. Man, we have a lot of things to to do. Man, many opportunities ahead. So, man, I would, like I said, like I said last time, you know, we are really blessed to do what we do. Again, you know, many people need to do a lot of work out there, and we are making this money just by the houses on our phones. And it's, been, it's really a blessing, right? So this is why, you know, learning how to do these things properly is going to be key factor in your success. So today I'm going to take the opportunity really quick to go over for strategy that I personally use, which is the MACD and the volume bars. Many of you have been asking me how to use them properly. And of course, I haven't made a video specifically about how to use the volume bars. Now, I do have pictures here that I can show you. And I'm, at the same time, I'm going to explain you why. And I'm gonna go over the charts too, so you know you're gonna gonna see on the real, you know, um, stock price action how it's actually you know moving, and, you know how they're reacting. So many times you hear me saying the MACD is curling up, right? We're seeing see you know we're seeing buying pressure, we're seeing selling pressure, right? That's what that's what you see. You guys hear me saying before. Now what I mean when I say buying pressure and selling pressure is this. So when you have the MACD um, indicator on. You're gonna see on the bottom the lines, right? The you know the orange or yellow and with the blue one. Those are directional uh, indicators, right? Which they pretty much serve the same purpose as the EMAs, right? They're most like, more likely telling you if the stock is you know uptrending or is it you know downtrending, right? That is has to give you a purpose telling you if they do cross over to the upside, and that will indicate to you that there is gonna be a possible break out to the apps right now let me let me show you here for example this stock is you know chrrs right you see the lines were pretty much flat you know they were flirting with it with you know with each other and they couldn't break up but once they did break out right once they cross over both of them but they did have you see when they crossing a little bit right you can see the little pumps you get the little spikes but they need it in order to start making a new uptrend they need some buying pressure they need to bottom if they don't have volume What's going to happen is that those little spikes, they're going to die off. You know, those are not sustainable spikes, right? So this is why we need to see, we need to be, be aware when, you know, volume comes, buying pressure comes, and you're going to start seeing the MACD start option big. In this case, for example, here, you know, CHRS, once you break out here, you can see here how the volume bars, which is the green bars, which, of course, you can, you can reference as buying pressure, you know, as buyers, they start increasing, right? The bars start increasing of sites. So that tells you that the buying pressure is heavy. The you know, bars are you know, very present on the stock, which is good. So if you saw the first breakout here, right? Seeing the buying pressure flat all the time, right? But once you start seeing on the first breakout, you see the bottom, the bottom bar increase of size and the MACD already start you know, crossing up and they start splitting from each other. That start, you know, giving you a sense of, the stock might be starting a new uptrend, right? So of course you see the next candle, which is a red candle here. And this is in the four hour chart. You see now it created another green bar bigger than the other one before. The MACD as well was already big, you know, more wider open um, from each other. So that tells you that the two things, that the buyer pressure are stronger, there are more buyers and that, you know, relief for the possible breakout. Now, when you can see they had breakout happen, right? And you see how the bottom bar, you know, pretty much went all the way up, super big. So what that happens is that a lot of bars came in. That's why the breakout happened. And you can clearly see the Magli already, you know, wide and open all the way up. Now, remember, this is you. This Magli indicator is something that you get to use in com like you know, in combination with other you know indicators. They go go with hand with you know the EMAs or with the RSI. It's all about how you make the work. Remember, none of these indicators are 100. percent so you got to make sure that you are really understanding what it's, it's, it's other, right? So if we go back to our picture, this is where more or less we're talking about, right? When we start seeing on a stock uptrending, right? And if start, we seeing the volume bars and start increasing size, then we do know that we have a possible new uptrend, right? But what's going to happen when we have a red candle, right? And then we do see the volume bar, which was green, right? Remember, it's green. But then when it reduces size, so what, what does that tell you? Which is common sense, right? We, if we have, you know, we had a steady uptrend with bars, but once there was a rejection, the bars went down. What happens is, because, you know, bars, right? They're now, now they're less bars because there was a rejection, 
you know, that tells you that people are taking profits and of course they start moving up from the stock. So what it tells you is that you have to be understanding that this could be a possible pullback, right? Now, how to, again, I already made a class about pullbacks. You can watch it. At the same time, I already even have, you know, the indicators about the EMAs. You can watch it as well. But a pullback, right, it can mean a possible, you know, a healthy pullback as far as, you know, if you're respecting the levels or if it's as well respecting the trends, which is a 60 EMA, right? In, the, in this case, we can clearly see this. Once it break out, right, it had a little pull, a little pullback here. But you see the bottom bars remaining very steady on size until that day in pre-market, right? The next day, you see how there was a big drop and you can see the bottom bar decrease in size. So from bigger to what we're talking about, the steady you know, increase of size, now the bar went down. So that alone only tells you that there was possible a major pullback. So if you were trading this around 286, you could either think about it, where am I gonna, where am I gonna do now? You know, if, this, if, this, if the bar started to feel strong on the stock, right? As long as we don't break out the trend, you know, which is our 20 EMA, as you can see, it's come, you know, we're using the EMA and we're using the bottom bars to tell us what can happen next. You see, if you were here at 26, you can clearly already could have possibly think about it what's gonna happen. You know, once the bottom bars start decreasing size, and you already can think, all right, we're gonna have a pullback, right? So as long as the trend remains intact, as long as the 20 EMA was okay, as long as the 200 EMA didn't broke, then you're already thinking about, okay, this is a healthy pullback. I'm going to buy the dip. And as you can see here, that's what a little bit happened. Once they consolidate on this level, right? Even though the bottom bars were less, like less, like less, uh, less big, right? Smaller size, they were still green, which that tells you that the bars are still in control of the stock price. So that's what you see here. Once you retest, you know, the 20 MA, it really break out again. And then you can see how the bars step in once again. So you see spike from 261 all the way down to $3. And the bars start stepping in once again, increasing size. Therefore, the stock is starting increasing as well. And you know, the stock price, you know, from 320s, it went up all the way down to 349, you know, following what has been happening here. Now, you can notice as well that the MACD lines, which is like we talked about before, they are directional ones. You can see how they they, they, they perform similar to what the stock price is. And once the broke happen, they kind of, one or less, you know, they, get, they they almost get close together because if there was that's what the pullback, but as long as they didn't cross them down, then you can think, all right, so the trend remains intact, right? And remember, you have to correlate this with EMAs as well. Now, what can we tell about this, right? What we're talking about this, so now we can see once again that the bottom bars are decreasing in size, right? So that tells me that we are possible and, you know, ahead of an, another pullback. And again, we have to analyze the stock. You know, we have to analyze where it sits, you know, especially on what levels are, where it's our support, right? How far the stock can go down. So I already have some levels on the stock. And you can see here, based on the previous price action, I can think of if we're going to have a pullback, right? Where are we going to have a pullback? So based on my levels, I, we're probably going to have a pullback to 3.13, which is support, right? This support right here. Because it's being tested in the level. It's been, you know, hanging around the level and it's been bouncing. So as long as the 20 EMA remains same tag, and as long as the bars, because it can do the same thing, you know, it can pull back, or even it can go lower, right? You can do the same thing here. You can go all the way down to 2, 291s, right? To, to uh, $3, right? Once the 20, the 20 EMA catches up and bounce. And this they they kind of maybe does the same thing that it did before, you know, pull back, and he, once you tap it, break out again. It is a possibility, right? But remember, this is our job. We got to analyze these things. This is well also, you know, looking at the major time frames is important. So looking at the daily chart, you know, we need to understand what happened here. It's being breaking out. You know, we have this gap up setup that I told you guys a lot. I, I love how to do the setups. You see how the, the fact that he made a higher high breaking above, we have a gap up to fill, right? I told you guys the other day is almost the all close to, actually we fill the gap, right? So now that the purpose is done, what is going to happen now? Usually, when a stock fills the gap up, they tend to pull back, right? And as you see here, the bottom bars are still on the daily chart the same size, they were bigger and bigger. So, what that tells me is that the, the next candle, so the next, well, the next trading session, what happens there will give me an idea of where are we heading. If we have a new, a new candle making a higher high and we have a bigger bar, you know, on a bigger size, that tells me that the bars are still in control and they want to keep going, you know, going up, going forward. But what happens if we see another candle like 
in the left side. It's kind of like the ones I have next. Like they're telling me that we're maybe and that, you know, anticipating a positive pullback. And I can think, all right, so based on the daily chart, maybe we can pull back those like 272, which is a 60 MA, right? And remember, the 60 MA is a healthy, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, indicator that I use to measure your healthy pullback, right? <clears throat> so, I mean, ch um, chart patterns, you know, candlesticks, I mean, all those things, right? I do have a curse all the way, all the thing in the Alpha community here, right? I have a candlestick sheets, you know, chart patterns, so that every single of my students can go over this and understand it. And again, they you know can spend some good time understanding all of those things. It's very basic to you understand technical analysis because this makes a lot of difference when you are actually on the same page that we are of the IAM. So this is one thing that I offer here as well. You know, we have training in the trading psychology as well. What is very, I'll tell you guys, mindset is very important. So all these things is very important as well. The video says there are, as far as my training, how to trade at this, you know, how to see things, how I'm seeing. So again, just to remind you guys, today is the last day of the sale. You know, this is going to be closing today, right? You know, our yearly sale is on, right? This is closing today, today at noon, well, not noon, sorry, midnight. It's going to be over, right? Tomorrow, everything's going to be updated. Everything is going to change. All the prices are going to change. So don't miss the opportunity. Join to the family because, again, we are going to come to 2024 super strong with a different mindset. We want to overcome ourselves. We want to improve ourselves. If you want to change your life, then you want to start making, you know, the right decisions. And this is one of the, I believe that, again, we are with a baby professional team. And, of course, our consistency, you guys can see it, is what defines us, right? Our quality of setups, our quality of picks is really what defines us. So, again, I hope you guys um, see us on Tuesday, right? Those are the signs to you. Now, going back to, you know, to the topic, right, listen to the picture. You can clearly see here what happens when we see a stock uptrending, right? But we do see the that's literally what we're talking about, right? When the stock is start uptrending and we do see the bottom bars downtrending, right? So you can start thinking we might have a pullback, right? This is literally what's up. That's what we call the difference. Um, <clears throat> so you can see here that there's an hour momentum, you know, compared with a decrease in bulk. So that I'll do that call. I'll tell you that the pullback is coming. That's similar to what we're talking about here, right? On the four hour chart, right? That we started seeing the uptrend, right? But we're seeing the volume bars decreasing. So we can start anticipating that it's a possible pullback, right? That's all that it is. That's exactly how you read this. Right now, ideally, what I was tell you guys when you're trading something, when you're day trading something or swing trading something, you want to see the price going up and at the same time, the volume going up because that's what we call, that's, that's a healthy, you know, uh, volume relationship, right? Many times we see the stock downtrending and there is a lot of volume, but that kind of is concerning, right? So because that, that, that you're going to be caught in a process of falling knives. So in this guy, we can really see that it's a deal. When we see the price going up, increasing, and we see the volume going up, then the uptrend is being supported by the volume, right? So there is a lot of people buying this and they're supporting this up. It is, it is, it's becoming sustainable, right? And of course, that's why you got to look for buying opportunities, which is the pullbacks, right? That's why you have you won't have to be afraid of the pullbacks if you understand what are you trading for? Like what exactly is what you're looking for? You know, where's the volume? Why the volume is acting like it's acting? It's important to understand these things, right? Now, what happens when you see the stock going up, right? And do you see the volume going down? So that tells you that people are selling, people are taking profits, and of course, that is not good for the stock price because what's going to happen is at some point that stock is going to knife down, right? Because people, someone is always going to be a bigger well there that's going to sell his entire position, and what's going to happen is that the stock is going to dump. And if you don't sell beforehand, you're going to get caught up, you're going to get caught up by holding, right? So this is what you see an uptrend, but it is not in a bottom. It's not, it's not supported by the bottom, and that's what we call it's not sustainable. And that's what you would want to exit your long positions because you're going to get caught on that drop. So think about it, right? It's very important to do this because if you don't, and I'm trying to think in a, a, um, an example on this, right? That, and this is what I'm talking about. See, we were trading in and next, right? We, right, gave it to my students a four or six, right? The entry, we had a target, which was, you know, they got filled. And that's exactly what we did, right? Once we filled the gap, the 5 by 15, we were out of the trade. But as you can clearly see here, this is what we're talking about. You see how the, you know, the trend was a bit intact, right? But what happened when, the, you know, the bars were start leaving the stock? The volume bars were start decreasing size, right? 
what happens you see even here right you see the stock price was a 463 but you know the still the stock price was still increasing on bottom that's what we're talking about the, the stock price going up but the bottom is increasing so you can clearly see here that you know the bars switch up from green to red telling you this 10 this case that the sellers aren't in control of stock now the sellers are the ones that are controlling you know the momentum and the movement of the stock so that's why you gotta get out of the stock you gotta you gotta to close your position you know get a scale out 90 percent you'll leave many small runners with a baby type stop loss you gotta do this thing you see once you pick out and if you didn't sell at 415 right at 515 it knifed down all the way down to 430 so you would be stuck if you wouldn't have if you wouldn't sell this at 497 515 now you're stuck by holding and you can clearly see here that the sellers are in control right now because the volume bars are red now and they're increasing size telling you that the sellers are heavy and now they are in control of the stock what's going to happen now the stock is going to continue going down right of course it's going to go level to level in this case you see it's touching the 20 may it could have could have a bounce but it's not sustainable because there's no buyers right also you can closely notice here once it might be flipped down it curls down and start heading down then that was another signal to get out and this happened around Five, you know, four, six, six. So then, this time you still have some time to reassess and think about it. I start need to take in profits, and I start need to getting out, or at least setting a stop loss that it will, you know, keep me on the green. So those are the things that you want to think about, it, right? So it's very important. I mean, I think this is very clear, but I cannot explain this more clear. It's very easy to understand them. And of course, if you have any questions, let me know. I mean, I'm always happy to. You know, go over this again, teach you guys. And again, if you are not a community, I mean, you have all this to your hand every single day. Again, you have the chart patterns, candlestick sheets, everything that you can review by yourself every single day. And of course, you know, become better. So again, happy um, join us today. Help you this this little class help you guys out to you know how to do certain things. And of course, you know, become a better trader and you know assess better what to do with your position. So of course, um, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Happy New Year! Don't forget again to take the opportunity of the sell, right? Because there's gonna be change, a life changing event, a life changing things coming up for other communities. So you don't wanna miss out, right? Take it out, it's there for you guys. See us tomorrow. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. Put the notifications on because we're gonna have bangers on 2024. So don't wanna miss them out, right? I'll see you guys on Tuesday, right? Take care, leave me a comment on the video if you wanna know anything. I'm almost checking you guys, you know, DM me or time in the chats. I'm always checking them out, right? So be safe, take care, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. What's up, guys? This is Wild for Trader coming at you guys today. If you guys want to start making some money and achieving those goals and financial freedom you guys are looking for, you need to start investing in yourself. You need to start investing in knowledge. All right, so join me to the Alpha community. I'll be there with you guys, guiding yourself to the market. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow on the market because I'm going to get you guys get some money. All right, so see you guys.